idea of excess is eating a whole pint of Ben & Jerry's in one sitting, prepare to have your mind thoroughly blown. With an MSRP of $245,000, this Bentley Continental Flying Spur Speed is roughly 49,000 times more excessive than that $5 pint of Bonnaroo Buzz. A quarter million dollars worth of leather, wood, and metal might seem crass in an era of austerity, but as a beacon of vehicular splendor, it's hard not to marvel at the Flying Spur. Have you ever met anybody who just commands attention? Maybe it's how they dress or how they stand, but for whatever reason, they radiate importance? The Bentley Flying Spur is that in automotive form. Gracefully drawn and physically large, at nearly 17 and a half feet long and 5,500 pounds, the Flying Spur has a visual gravitas that bridges the gap between Bentley's sportier Continental Coupe and their stately Mulsanne flagship. Like a jelly donut, the Flying Spur's glaze might be tasty, but what counts is what's inside. Diamond pattern stitching, vast swaths of leather, brill walnut trim. Yes, it all looks grand, but looks don't tell the whole story. The Flying Spur's greatest charms come from how it feels and how it smells. The cabin is filled with this oddly sweet aroma. This leather is smooth and supple. The metal bits are solid. These hinges and these organ style vent pulls move with a solid, well-crafted feel. And good God, look at these lamb's wool rugs. I challenge you to imagine, let alone buy, more decadent floor mats. It's easy to get caught up in the expense, but momentarily ignore price and you'll be free to bask in the luster of the Spurs' impeccable craftsmanship. Bentley or not, there are imperfections, notably the laggy audio interface, hey, and the fact that the cup holder is right here, meaning you can either store a drink or rest your arm, but not both. The standard Bentley Flying Spur features a 552 horsepower twin turbocharged W12 engine, but this is the Flying Spur Speed. The speed addendum means that horsepower jumps to an even 600, enabling the four-door Continental to hit 60 in 4.5 seconds. Wait a bit longer, and the big Bentley eases into a 200 mile per hour maximum velocity. The engine's ample output is directed to the ground by way of a six-speed automatic transmission and standard all-wheel drive. Given the car's weight and performance, it's not surprising that fuel economy is a modest 11 mpg in the city and 19 on the highway. The Flying Spur is really the kind of car in which you're meant to be driven. Case in point, the turn signal and windshield wiper stocks are at the 4 and 8 position, nice and low for underhanded, chauffeur-style steering. But choose to drive yourself and there's plenty to enjoy. The multi-link front and rear suspension is self-leveling and delightfully compliant. The handling is composed and capable, and with just a few inches of right pedal travel, you can unleash all that speed promised by the name. Approximately $187,000 gets you in the door of a Bentley Flying Spur. Make that $212,000 for the Flying Spur Speed. Of course, that price neglects all the must-have options, like an $8,000 rear seat entertainment package, $2,700 veneered rear picnic tables, a $7,000 15-speaker, 1,100-watt name audio system, and the previously mentioned $800 lamb's wool rugs. Tack on enough enhancements, and it's easy to arrive at our car's $245,000 asking price or more. The Bentley Continental Flying Spur is a big deal, and it knows it. But like anyone with real position, authority, or class, the Flying Spur doesn't need to convince you of that fact. It's content being exceptional, whether anyone's looking or not.